rapture is, a, is such an interesting uh, concept. First of all, we, we have to say this up front. Um, there is no rapture in the book of Revelation. You can search the book of Revelation from front to back and back to front, and you will not find the rapture. So where does the rapture come from? It really comes from two places. The, uh, the concept of the rapture itself comes from the, the Thessalonian letters, where Paul writes to the Thessalonians about, um, you know, there will come a time when Jesus will return and will be sort of caught up in, to meet him in the air. Again, very symbolic language, not necessarily to be taken literally, um, but this idea of being caught up is where we get our concept of the rapture. There's also a reference um, in the Gospels where Jesus talks about um, uh, something completely different. Uh, in, in part of Jesus' apocalyptic preaching, and uh, notice I said apocalyptic, not eschatological. In part of Jesus' apocalyptic preaching, he talks about a time when there'll be two men working in the field, and one will be taken, and one will be left. Not left behind, but left. And see, this is where the problem comes in, because too many people have interpreted that as though uh, one person is taken up into heaven, good for him, and the other person is left behind, and too bad for him. But if you read that passage in context, what you realize is that Jesus has just finished talking about um, Noah and the ark. And he's comparing Noah and the ark to what will happen in, in a certain time when there'll be catastrophes. Again, not the end times, but some time when there'll be catastrophes. And again, I, I relate this to the fall of Jerusalem. But when he says one will be taken and the other will be left, he's not saying one will be taken to heaven and the other left behind. He's saying one will be taken away, as in those who were swept away by the flood, and the other will be left, who, meaning to survive. So it's actually the opposite of what the whole left behind interpretation is assuming. So again, that passage is not about rapture either. Um, it's, it's about something completely different. And again, Jesus is simply you know, talking about some catastrophic events in, when pe in which people will lose their lives and relating it to the time of Noah's Ark. Um, so what happens is, is that when, when people put the, that... Um, passage that Jesus is talking about, interpreting it in, in this left-behind sense, and they, they marry that to the Thessalonian concept, they have created a concept of a rapture in which Jesus comes back for a minute to take people to heaven, and some are left, and then Jesus is going to come back for good at another time. But that, that idea of this two-stage return of Christ, where he comes back briefly, takes a bunch of people away, only to come back again later, is simply not biblical. It's not in the text. And people have gone, through, gone to great pains to try and insert that idea into the book of Revelation, which is ironic because the book ends with a curse against anybody who tries to add anything to the text. Uh, so I would argue that anyone who tries to insert the rapture into the book of Revelation is adding to the text. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the, the point there is that this concept of a rapture as a two-stage return of Christ is simply not biblical.